So, um, good morning, everybody. I'd like to welcome you all to our uh, course, which is uh, the Introduction to Agricultural Commodity Systems and Enterprise Development. It is known as AGSAI 4A, the lecture part, and I'm your instructor, Guillermo P. Singano. Chair of the Department of Agricultural Entrepreneurship. I will be giving you the overview of what we, what we are going to discuss with the rest of the semester pertaining to our subject. So this is the course outline. I have broken this into seven uh, different modules. You know. Module 1 is the introduction to the course. Module 2 is understanding agricultural commodity. The third module is understanding agricultural commodity system. Number 4, module 4 is agricultural commodity marketing. Number 5 is agriculture enterprise management. Number 5 is the support services. Module 6, agricultural commodity supply chain. And module 7, Agricultural Commodity Value Chain. But we will first discuss, of course, the first part, the introduction to the course. So this is the introduction to the course. And uh, it is important that we first understand what is agricultural commodity. So by definition, a commodity is a basic good used in commerce that is interchangeable with other goods of the same type. Pwede siyang um, magkapalit kung sa point of view ng buyer. It doesn't much care kung anong brand ng white sugar ang binili niya. Uh, as long as it's sugar, okay lang sa kanya. So, no particular preference pagdating sa brand. You know, because they are so basic. Commodities are most often used as inputs in the production of other goods. Or services. The quality of a given commodity may differ slightly, but it is essentially uniform across producers. When they are traded on an exchange, commodities must also meet specified minimum standards, also known as basis grade. They tend to change rapidly from year to year. This is according to Investopedia. Meaning, simply meaning, um, they are mostly traded, being sold, being bought. Uh, but it is important that uh, buyers and sellers take into consideration the quality part, which is expressed in terms of trade. Continuing, agricultural commodities are staple crops and animals produced on farms or plantations. The word staple, uh, it is used in reference to staple food. No? Anong araw-araw kinakain? But different countries have different preference in, when it comes to staple food. Like here in the Philippines, our staple food is rice, but uh, somewhere in the United States, Europe, uh, it's bread. So, Ang kanilang basic commodity is wheat because dyan ang gagaling ang flour. And most agricultural commodities such as grains, livestock, and dairy provide a source of food for people and animal across the globe. The term commodity is commonly used in reference to basic agricultural products that are either in their original form or have undergone only primary processing. Like in this case, palay, so, nag-undergo siya ng primary, kauna-unahang processing yung, yung palay, it turns into a rice. So, we consider that as commodity. Kapag ka siya ay, uh, let's say, yung sticky rice, yung malagit, ginawa mo na siyang galapong, parang flour, at uh, ginawa mo siyang minatamis or hinalo mo sa kanin, secondary processing na yun. So, hindi na siya natin consider under the scope 
of commodity. Dito lang sa ating ano, sa ating kurso. So nandoon tayo sa tinatawag na primary. Thus, uh, within a particular grade and with respect to a given variety, commodities coming from different suppliers and even different countries or continents are ready substitutes for one another. For example, two varieties of coffee beans such as Robusta and Arabica do have different characteristics but two Robustas from different continents will, within the same grade band, have identical characteristics in all important aspects. Agricultural commodities are generic, no brand, undifferentiated products, wala masyadong pagkakaiba kasi primary processing pa lang nangyayari. Since they have no other distinguishing and marketable characteristics, compete with one another on the basis of price. Ang laban na lang, presyo. Commodities contrast sharply with those products which have been given a trademark or branded in order to communicate their marketable difference. So you will find eto mga products na ito, wala pa silang brands. However, some agricultural commodities have purely industrial applications. The building and furniture industries use lumber. The one you see here is a lumber. Uh, pero kapag ka, hindi pa siya na, na cut into pieces, they are called timber. Nasa... Normally, nasa forest pa yan. Kapag naitumba mo na sila, pinakot sa truck. They are first called timber. While manufacturers in several sectors use latex or use latex from the rubber tree. So another commodity is rubber. So merong rubber tree. Ito yung sample ng rubber. So what you are saying, ito ay latex. Yung unti-unting nag-accumulate to sa maliit na container na black dakta ang tawag dyan and they are being processed and common use is tires wool okay from sheep provides the fabric for the clothing industry and lanolin for skin and hair care products ano ba itong lanolin ano lanolin also called wool yoke wool wax or wool grease uh, pawis hindi uh, naman siguro ano yan uh, health, ano naman yan, safe naman yan. It's a wax secreted by the sebaceous glands of wool-bearing animals. No? Pawis na nabubuo. No? Pwede waxy. Lanolin used by humans comes from domestic sheep breeds that, uh, domestic sheep breeds that are raised specifically for their wool. Yung nakikita nyo yung malagong balahibo na yan, they are called wool and on the right side, Ito yung nagawang product out of wool. They are price, price commodity. No? Mga nakakapagsuot lang ng wool na mga jackets are normally rich people. Yung nasa gitna is a product from lanolin. Lanolin is also an ingredient sa mga beauty products. Historically, many pharmacopoeias no? or ito yung mga engaged sa pag-create ng mga medicines have referred to lanolin as wool fat. So, pwede siyang wool yolk, wool wax, or wool grease, or wool fat. Isa lang siya. Some agricultural commodities serve as both a source of food and an industrial ingredients. Both humans and animals consume corn, but the commodity is also an important ingredient in fuel production. No? Well, that is eh, pagkain pag ng tao and um, hayop. No? But uh, they also find out na mayroong napuproduce na alcohol from corn which could run uh, vehicles. You know? Similarly, humans eat the beef of cows while a variety of industries use beef hide. Yung balat ng baka, ginagawang jacket yan. You know? Pats and bones to create products. Walang tapon. You know? So may mga proseso. 
And uh, the next question is, why are agricultural commodity important? No? So based dito sa mga pictures pa lang na ito nakikita nyo, uh, these are pictures where the commodities that we are talking right now ay naandyan sa hapag ng kanilang sa table nila. No? And uh, because most of the commodities that we are we will be talking are food products, although not necessarily food products lang. Virtually every living being on the planet depends on the agricultural industry in one way or another. We eat the grains, fruits, vegetables, and livestock that farmers produce. Build the frames of our houses from the wood, from the lumber, make clothes from cotton and wool, and ride cars with tires made from rubber. In addition, over 1.3 billion people, it's a large number of uh, people. I couldn't imagine how much, how, how many is 1.3 billion or nearly 20% of the global population. So 1.3 billion could be the exact number of people in China. See, Chinese represent 20% of the whole population. So ganong karami ang 1.3 billion work in farming sa tataang umaasa sa farming as business as, as laborer or faith laborers. In some regions of the world, such as South Asia and Sub-Saharan Africa, farming employs more than more people than any other industry. The global impact of the agriculture industry is enormous. Siyempre, food kasi no? at other important things. According to the Food and Agricultural Organization of the United Nations, the economic value of the agricultural industry in constant $2010, meaning ang pinagbasihan ay presyo ka ng dollar or value of dollars in year 2010 is more than $3 trillion. Uh, how much is 3 trillion? <laughs> Could have to imagine ganong kalaming zero nakakabit doon. Pane. So ganong kalaki ang impact ng, ng industry ng uh, agricultural commodity. And uh, talking about the future, no? with a world population expected to climb from 7.5 billion people to 11.8 billion people by 2100 or 2100. Ngayon ay uh, 2021. So how many more years? 79 years. Aabotin siya ng 11.8 billion. And agricultural commodities are likely to play an even bigger role in the decades ahead. Pero dito sa graph na ito ay 2050 pa lang yung pinakikita. No? At napansin nyo yung bigger growth rate ng world population. No? But sad to say, doon sa graph na yun, merong yellow and orange. Ano? Yellow represent the developing region while the orange one represents the industrial region. And it seems that the developing region would have a bigger or the faster growth rate than the industrial region. So developing regions are considered to be poor regions, while the industrial regions are the rich regions or the rich countries. So yung poor regions pa doon pa mas malakas ang population growth and that is estimated to grow by that much uh, in 2050 which is close to 10 billion people okay kasi lampas ng 8 no so ganung kalaki and that will be a great challenge for the rest of us who are living today and for the youth like you who are studying agriculture to look ahead because this is 
an impending na lalapit na problema. How are we going to feed those number of people in the coming years? All right. So this will end our very our brief introduction of our course. Uh, there will be a series of uh, lectures after this as we follow the course outline. So thank you very much for listening and hope you enjoy this lecture.